Good evening everybody and welcome back to another video about a, another German beer uh, over this Oktoberfest period. So I was actually gifted this over the weekend from my uh, brother and sister-in-law who said I would probably really like this and it is something that is quite interesting because um, one of the things I tend to avoid is alcohol-free beer. So here we have the Erdinger, that's how you say it, alcohol-free beer. Now, it's actually an isotonic drink, uh, which I believe is what athletes use to replace uh, electrolytes, um, energy water, um, things like that. Um, so, yes, yeah, so this is a refreshing isotonic drink to replace you know for when you've done a workout and things like that replaces the uh, the waters and the like the electrolytes and just gives you know gives you back a bit of energy some of the stuff that you know the body needs electrolytes um doesn't it to sort of function but does it taste like a beer well let's find out because i have tried many 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 alcohol free drinks in my time and the only one I could say that I've actually enjoyed to the point of being able to go somewhere, drive in and feel like I'm having a few drinks is the Guinness Zero. Um, at the right temperature, it is probably for me one of the best 0% beers there is. What excites me about this is that um, if this is any good at the minute, I could really do with some energy at work and I could really do with uh, some electrolytes and replacing energy at work. Um, and, and the job I'm doing at the minute, I feel like a bit of a knackered athlete. Um, so I might be able to tell one of these work and have a beer at work. It could be one of the best alcohol free beers I've ever drank. So, um, you know, looks like it's quite lively. What do we want out of an alcohol free beer? Personally, we want to go out in our car to somewhere, a party or friends, whatever, and to be able to have a beer, a, a, a beer flavored drink. I, I do not want to drink Coke, lemonade, all that, you know, pop, any of that sort of crap. Um, when people around me are drinking quality beers, so here we have a very nice, light, strawberry coloured, bready malt coloured, sort of very light, pushing towards a slightly light amber with a lovely snowy white head. The thing I find with alcohol-free beers, when they're trying to do it, is they're just, they've got a taste in there. They've all got a taste. They've got this sweetness about them that is pretty horrible, really. It's ticking all the boxes because it is a German beer. I could have swore I said yes. Yeah. So imported by Carlsberg Marsden's Brewery, Wolverhampton. So I'm hoping that that's what it means. It's imported by them. So in order, because this is available, um, I've seen this in Sainsbury's the other day. So I would imagine you can get this in Sainsbury's, Tesco. I would imagine that. I've seen it in Sainsbury's. Um, so yeah, but, you know, it is... It is brewed by them, I'm sure it is, and it's all legit and everything. I've actually um, looked and and seen that this is on um, Erdinger's uh, website. So, none of these beers have really got much aromas to them, really, I found doing the Oktoberfest beers. They've been, it's a real hunt for the aromas. Um, I think a couple of them have got some very uh, decent multi aromas, if I can remember, but hunting for the aromas are, are very difficult. 
This has sort of got a little bit of that alcohol-free smell. It really has. There's, there's something about, there's something about an alcohol-free beer, lager, whichever one I've, I've tried. Some of them are absolutely awful. Um, but they all have that, they all have that smell, don't they? And this is sort of, to me, no different. It's there. But also it has got a little bit of very subtly in them bready type of wheaty malts. So, what's it going to taste like? Let's dive in. Cheers. Prost. Got a nice fizz on the tongue. It's a non alcoholic isotonic drink. It's better, it's better, I've got to say, as far as any kind of um, lagers or, I mean, I've never tried a, um, a, uh, a, is this a, a vice bra? Is it a wheat beer? Is it, is it trying to be a wheat beer? It is, isn't it? Uh, let me just have a, a glag here. Yeah, so it's wheat, it's wheat beer. I mean, it's really funny eh? because you know, like when you, you know it is, but I just suddenly thought, mm, do you know what? I better, I better just check that it's actually trying to do what it's trying to do. Um, you know, it's, it's trying to be, you know, uh, uh, I can't say the fire spra. The uh, this this a with the with the um, things that go above it, uh, that almost like the little apostrophe things above it. Made the A sound different. I've been trying to find out how to say all these, but to be quite honest with you, I don't think any of us do. If it's German, um, beer, we don't. Uh, but yeah, so um, a wheat beer it is, um, or a non-alcoholic wheat beer. I was just checking that it's actually got something in it that's worth, um, you know, hunting for some flavours. So this distinctively refresh, refreshing flavour of our Arsotonic Thirst Quencher my god i need some new eyes all these need to write a little bit uh, bigger alcohol free is what makes it so unique it's purely natural ingredients supply the body with important nutrients in the form of vitamins b9 and b12 these help reduce tiredness and promote the normal functionality of the body's immune system so, you know, this drink is going to benefit you, isn't it? I mean, I'd rather drink this all day long than a blooming monster or any of them caffeine drinks or any of that crap. At least we've got a little bit of naturalness in here, haven't we? And, you know, thankfully, it is sweet. It's got that sweetness about it. But it ain't bad. It ain't bad. It isn't bad at all. It's just, I wish they could do something to take that sweetness away. Um, they always say, don't they? You know, if you buy if you buy food and it's like fat free, it's like yeah, it's fat free, but it, and it's full of additives to give it flavour or or it's no, not so much fat free, sugar free. Oh, it's sugar free, but then it's all full of sweeteners. You're better off having something that's got natural flavourings in, natural sweetness rather than artificial sweetness. Um, so, so this helps reduce tiredness. I mean, I'm, I'm feeling full of energy already. 
uh, and promote the normal functionality of the body, blah, blah, blah. Um, so it's got some, uh, some, I mean, we all know that beer is good for you anyway. Beer is good for you. It's got a lot of good stuff in it. Uh, a varied and balanced diet, uh, balanced diet, a healthy lifestyle and all that, and all that jazz. Um, non-alcohol free for the purpose of UK food law. So yes, uh, wheat beer contains what's it, does it tell you in here what we've got? Wheat malt. So yeah, ingredients, water, wheat malt, barley malt, hops, yeast, carbon dioxide, and imported by coal, Colesbury, Marsdens. You know, they're all brothers in there, they're all in each other's pockets. But um but yeah, so I mean tell tell me if I'm wrong, but like alcohol free beer comes from making a beer and then I think boiling the the arse end out of it to burn off all the alcohol. Um that's just a guess. Uh, I, I've probably heard that before. Tell me, tell me in the comments um on this. But do you know what? As soon as I put that up to my nose, I smell that alcohol-free beer. You could put that up to my nose right from the very start, no matter what it was, and I could have smelt that and gone, oh, it smells like a blimmin' alcohol-free beer, that does. Because they just don't, they just have that smell. However, I am gonna say, Guinness is my favorite alcohol-free beer. a stout but this compared to all the other ones I've had this is obviously going to make all your mates jealous when they're when you turn up with one of these at work and you you stood there having a beer um, yeah. and they're probably having you know like a drink of coke or a, a monster or something like that but then is it because How's it tasting? <laughs> Quite gassy. Do you know, it's all right. I'm being over fussy here, ain't I? It is, but it's all right. I mean, it's got a fair, a really light mouthfeel. Yeah, yeah, light. It is a quite a light mouth here. It's very, it's very refreshing. I'll give it that. It's really refreshing. And if I finish drinking this, and I feel energized, uh, then I'm pleased with that. Um, I mean, it's whole got a great head retention. I mean, look at that. You know, that it, it has got a bloody good head, I'll give it that, really good head retention. I think if it wasn't for the fact that I've been drinking some really, really super duper quality lagers and wheat beers, that, <clears throat> as an alcohol free beer, would be, you know, pretty good. I think it's only because over the last few weeks I've been drinking some seriously flavoursome, seriously good beers. Um, but I'm going to say that um, yeah, I would happily probably I probably have it a little a little warmer than than I've had it. It's quite cold. I probably have a little bit warmer. But yeah, I'd say crikey, look at the the froth that's left in there. Yeah, give it a go. Give it a go. Tell me what you think. Give me, give it a go. Tell me what you think. I would say I'd rather have that than any of the other alcohol-free because IPAs or logs out there, any of them. That is got a little bit of sweetness in it, but it ain't, it ain't over sweet. It ain't, it ain't driving me mad. Some of them drive me mad with the sweetness. I just can't drink them. They're horrible. 
Uh, they really are awful. Um, but yeah, it's got that alcohol-free sweetness, but it ain't over the top. So give it a go, see what you think. Um, is it is it is it better than than having a tea or a coffee when you're around people and they're all drinking? It's certainly better than trying to have a drink, one drink when you're driving because once you've had one, you've got that taste and you just want another. So I don't I don't I try not to do that myself um, because if I'm if I'm driving, I just tend to just. I will probably have one um, if it's a low ABV, but I try not, I, I, I just keep it completely separate. So if I was going to a party and I knew I was driving and everybody else was drinking, would I take this or would I take the Guinness? I'd probably take this to be honest with you, because you can have this a bit colder in the summer as as the, the, the weather's changing. Um, I'd probably go more for the um, Guinness um, and have it a little bit warmer. But yeah, I think I think it, I'd give it a go. Give it a go. I think we're all going to have different opinions on this. But I just, but I just if you if you've seen it before, you've seen it before. If you've not, then there it is. It's available. Uh, it's not that expensive. I can't remember how, how much it. Uh, well, I got this gifted me, but I can't remember how much it was in Sainsbury's. It's an isotonic drink. It's going to give you some of that energy, some of that goodness. It's going to make you feel, um, you know, a bit better than you was before you drank it. I suppose like a Lucasade, really. And and it's got an element of beer taste to it. So, yeah, all good. Anyway, that's been... <laughs> I wanted it to be a quick one. It's always bloody long. I'll edit it out. Anyway, until uh, the next one, I'm actually going to go now and get myself into a really nice wheat beer, I hope, from a brewery that I've really, really getting into. And... Um, get that one on camera and get that one out there as well um and uh yeah see see what we find with that okay take care everybody thanks for watching again and uh please like and subscribe if you would be so kind um put your comments in the comment box and uh let's just see what you what you think about that cheers everybody take care thank you very much